How much did you get? Yeah. And let's check the marketing scheme. Yeah. Are you already checked? Yeah. Oh good, so there's... Uh, this is another one. I must open the wrong one. Um, you have the... Mm. Oh, 2. here. 2.59. So there's no point in me doing it then since you got the right answer. Right, so that one is okay. Okay. The next question is about... Can you see... Um, Young's modulus. Remember this one? Uh, yeah. So I know, but your classmates looks like they didn't because they're doing it now. So if you're unhappy with your classmates, talk to them. I mean, can you do another one? Because you are just doing a two. It's not up to me. It's up to the two of them. You don't mind? Okay. Which one then will we do? Your The year before this? Yeah. Okay. And what version? Yeah. Version 1. Okay. Um, how many marks for the first question? In total, Adnan, if, when you have it there, please. Or Iyad, whoever. Three and three. Two parts. Okay, are the two parts related or separate? No, no, really. Okay, so it's one question um, for six marks, is it? Yes, mechanics. Okay, so the maximum time is seven minutes. Uh, so let me give you six minutes. It's... 3.26 Now it's just turned 3.27 Okay, 6 minutes starting now What now? Ah, Miss Sharif, you told me to do this one What one do you want me to do? Wait, did you do it or not? I did. Then, then which version? Version 4? No, no, no. Let's have a look at which one you were about to do. Yes. Yeah, we can do it. You sure about this? Because I'm not going to let you change your mind. This must be your final answer. Final. Okay, we're doing this one. Uh, continue, please. Yeah, he's asking if it is. You have a number for it, do you? No, 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 not a number. I mean, because it says it was in the boy and on the phone. The question is determined the maximum time. Is it? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 
Does it say anything like thrown vertically upwards? It says vertically Then there is no angle, it's just straight up. It's not a projectile. It's oh. just straight line one. Oh. Yeah. For what? Yeah. For what? For which part? For what? The first one. What? Well, did they want the first one? Yeah. Maximum height. So the maximum height can't be a minus. So it was a minus mathematically, should I just move it? Or no, you shouldn't have gotten a minus. That should not have happened. Something went wrong. Okay, so we have here a child throws a ball with a uh, velocity of 12.4 and the height is 1.13. So here is the problem like this. No? Watch, watch, I'm doing it now. What's the height of the ball at the beginning? 1.13 meters and this velocity upwards? 12.4 meters per second. So for maximum height, u is 12.4, v is 0, a is minus 9.81, t we don't know, s we want. So we'll go with um, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So then the S would be 12.4 squared over 2 times 9.81. So if I hit that in on the calculator. 7.83. Great. Um, I'll just have that on the calculator. 7.84. So the maximum height is? That plus 1.13. So, 8.97 meters. Part 2, is it the time to hit the ground? U is 12.4, V we don't know, A is minus 9.81, T we don't know, and S is minus 1.13. S... Yes. S equals U T plus a half A T squared or in other words 4.905 T squared minus 12.4 T minus 1.13 equals zero 
this, quadra uh, this equation is a quadratic. So if we just bash this into the calculator or use the quadratic formula, Two point six two or a negative. So two point six two seconds is the answer. It is okay. In fact, I would go so far as to say it's easy really. It's a perfectly standard question. Perfectly standard. Nothing unusual here. Okay, continue. Let's have a look at the next one. Ah, pendulum. So we want the periodic time and we have the length. We want the maximum acceleration and they give us the amplitude and the maximum velocity. Uh, six marks, six minutes. So just perfect. Just change to 36. So you have until 42. Never have too much, only too little. Oh, Great. You still have three minutes left, so if this was an exam, uh, you will be three minutes ahead. Uh, Mr. Reeves? Yep. So, 
we look at it now then? Great. Okay, so here the pendulum's length is 1.32. Yeah, and what does they want the time? Well, that's just your usual 2 pi root L over G. Nothing, uh, nothing unusual there. 2 pi 2 pi root L over G. 2.3 seconds. seconds. Okay, what's part two? Uh, maximum acceleration. Okay, so A max equals A omega squared, which is A 2 pi over T squared. And the A is 32.6 millimeters. The A is 32.6 millimeters. Uh-huh. Two point three was the last one, wasn't it? Zero point two four three. You got that? Yeah. Great. And then finally the last part was the V max, was it? Mm. V max equals A omega, which is A times two pi over T. So actually if I just go back, it's literally just changing that to a one, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's not squared anymore. So you get 0 0.089. And that's it. Yeah, six marks. Okay, next. Uh, Young's modulus, three marks. So that means you should really have it done in four minutes. So you can start 42 until 46 then. No. La. I've done this conversion many times in this class. Yeah. I did it in our first lesson. I, I, I must have done it four times now. No. Maybe more, actually. You're right. Maybe four. Uh, more than four. So I will go crazy if you get this wrong. Con you do need to convert that into meters squared.
One minute left and then your time is up on this. Good. Um, okay, let's have a look here. So, uh, you have a steel wire. Its length is 2.461 meters. And the area is 1.25 millimeters squared, which is 1.25 milli squared meter squared because millimeter is the same as uh, millimeter squared is milli squared meter squared mm -hmm. so what do we want here the extension so you have Young's modulus is stress over strain right and stress is force over area and strain is extension over length so extension over length equals force over area over Young's modulus so extension equals force uh, times length over area times Young's modulus. Uh, and is it a weight on it? Yeah, the weight. So th the force is MGL over AY. Um, and we know it. Okay, so what is the M here? 8 point... Okay, and the L was 2.461, and the area was 1.25 times 10 to the power of minus 6, uh, no, uh, yes, and then the, what's Young's modulus? No, it's gone. Now I have to start over, it disappeared. <sighs> Sorry, what's the mass? 8.2. 3, 6 times 9.81 times uh, 2.461 over 1.25 times 10 power minus 6 times, and Young's modulus? 2.01 times 10 to the power of 11. So this should be a small number. It is. Let's put it into millis. Uh, not even a millimeter. So you know what I'm going to do. I think I might have put in something smaller, like micro. Eight hundred and three micrometers. Why are you shaking your head? You should be going. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's good. It's just a small thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not even one millimeter. Less than one millimeter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, our favourite, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, five marks. Five minutes. Yep. That's true. Right, guys. I just need to go to the bathroom, but um, I'll do this the moment I come back. Five minutes maximum for this. But your chemistry teacher will be upset with you if it took you longer than this.
even some that we can special but in a sense and now we can give up with our other than that I think we have more pressure over temperature or half is down Yeah, I'm 
Right answer time. And answer time. You should definitely have it finished. So A4. Come on, A4. So what do we want? The volume. No, so Okay. Well, I'll discover that myself when we do it, Jeff. PV equals NRT. Now, what do we know? We know yeah. it occupies this volume and this pressure and this temperature and, yeah, so actually we can work out N. Right, so we need to know that because um, they want the volume at a different situation. Yeah, so in this is an example where doing the second part first works better. So PV divided by RT, okay, so P is, um, where's it gone, P is 1.76 times 10 to the 5 Pascals, PV is 50.5 times 10 to the minus 3, uh, yeah, and then it's all over RT, thank you, shift 727 and then the temperature is 23 plus 273.15 roughly so the n is 3.61 so you use the mm, 1.76 pressure yep no. now for the first part though I've done the second part first the first part is what's the volume at this temperature and pressure so the volume here is N or T over P, but we now know the N and the new P and T. So again, it's going to be answer, yeah, times um, shift 727 times uh, 273.15, yeah, over P, which is now what? Uh, 1.01 10 to the 5. Yeah, 0 0.0812. All right, this should this should this should be five marks in the bag for this one. Now, five, um, we've got a capacitor one. It, this looks like a very straightforward capacitor one. Uh, do you remember what happens when the capacitors are in series? Uh, They're reciprocals. Uh, correct, very good. Four marks, four minutes, uh, begin. Yeah. Although I doubt it will take you four minutes. First, first question. The formulas are in the form of the book, Adnan, for you to look them up. Yes, for the first one? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, but you, do you know the two? And you have A double C? No, that's the C. Wait. Can I say that too? And C is squared. Yes. <laughs> Correct. It's the same answer. But, you don't have to work out Q. And you got the same answer by using the wrong formula and the wrong number in the formula. Okay. Yeah, no, no, because what you said is you use the formula a half Q V squared. Well, you don't have the Q, but what you taught was the Q you used. And the reason it worked is because the real formula is a half C V squared. No, I mean, if I... Uh, no, that would not be good enough for the exam. I will put something in it or three. Don't write the formula. <laughs> True. If you didn't write the formula and wrote 
a half, a half a over three b squared, then yeah, that's full mark. But if you wrote a half q b squared and then use what was c for q, you'll get the same number answer, but for the wrong reason. So no mark. Half marks maybe. And full mark for no reason. Full mark. <laughs> no, it's like I try to explain my idea more. Yeah, and then it reveals <laughs> reveals you didn't fully understand. Uh, okay, so this one you didn't need four minutes; you only needed two minutes. Um, the total capacitance one over C is one over four plus oh. one over eight, which is three over eight. So C is eight over three microfarads, and then for part two. Uh, the energy is a half CV squared, which is a half 8 over 3, um, 40 right. squared. That's 800, that's six, 800, uh, 6400 over 3, isn't it? 2133 three, yes. joules. Yeah. Is this fine? Yeah. Uh, easy. Uh, you didn't change to micro. Uh, you, well done. Uh, we never put in the micro here. So this is a uh, micro, so micro joules. Which, um, I suppose you could probably change that into milli. Two, one, three, three. Yeah, 2.13 millijoules. Okay, next. Uh, this is seven marks and this is the first really hard one. Yeah, this up to now the questions have been regular, normal, usual, straightforward questions, uh, but now we're hitting a hard one. So uh, this one is seven minutes starting now. Okay. But you can open it on your phone. But sure, it's right there as well. That's the information and the questions underneath for the first part. Mishri, you can see that on the screen though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not happening. Look at the formulas. You might be inspired. And also for the first part, you're only looking at the A, so forget the B and C exist.
Four minutes left. <laughs> huh? The four minutes are for the I do. Yeah, like three minutes have passed. There's four minutes left. Well, I can get half of it, that's good. Two minutes to figure it out. The truth force theorem, believe it or not, is true here, but it tells you something you already know that all the forces from the charges act. But you knew that already, so that has no help to you. So, no, not true force theorem. Nice try, nice try. Uh, will we just be sitting here in silence for two minutes? Hint, hint, hint. Hint? hint. There's only one minute now. Um, the hint is calculate the electric field strength for three of them. If the answer is still on the calculator, you'll just have to go back space and change the charges because everything else is the same, the distance and the k. There's a charge here, correct? And one here. Mm -hmm. This is A, this is B, and then there's a C here. Yeah. Yeah? Now these these are equally spaced apart. Mm. I think they said that as well. Uh, we know the radius of this circle, don't we? What is it? Four point three three centimeters. And what's the charge at A? Micro coulombs, and this is two. No, this is two. 
So the first question was, what is the electric field strength at the center due to the, um, uh, the, the one on the top? Was it the A? Uh, okay, um, what was the K? 8.99 times 10 to the 9? Is it? Are you sure? Well, look, there's an easy way to check. And it's not. This is the Boltzmann's constant. There is no. It's probably not. What's it in the formula book? No, it's not. Ten to the nine. Okay. Times. Uh, what's the first charge? Four. Is it? Guys, please. Can you just tell me what the first charge is? The A. What? For what? Micro? Micro. Okay, and the distance I have is 4.33. Did you get this for the electric field strength? No, because it's that case. Alright, doesn't matter. But you did it this way? Yeah. Right. No. 1.92 times 10 to the 7. So we don't have the K. Hold on. No, it's not on the calculator. The K is in the formula book. It is. Don't make me come over there and show you. Look. I'm going to show you. You're going to make me angry. exact same document open. It is in yours, because it's in mine. <laughs> Go to page number two. And look to the left. Coulomb law constant. Oh, I'm coming over there. Somebody's getting. It's saying that there. This page in your book. I would be shocked at this. Wait, no, this is the formula book. You're not looking at the same thing. I'm looking at the actual exam. Good page. Yeah. High five. Here. <laughs> this is it there. This makes sense. We divide that there. Can I continue? Yeah. Yep. Right. So that was the first part. Um you got this big number and then ten yeah. That was the first part. Now the second part is what is the um, what was it? The strength and the right. So what we need to do here? Let's imagine we put a little charge in the center here, uh, a small positive charge. So I'll just make it a small Q. This will have how many forces acting on it in total? Three forces. There will be one here. Yes? Uh, well, I suppose I'll make it a negative charge so that it gets pulled to the positive. These are all positives. It gets pulled there, pulled there, and pulled there. Now, if you resolve this one and this one for here, this one and this one for here, what will happen to this left one and this right one? Like why? Because these are both the same. And because they're both the same, one of these is the same as the other one. So my point is we only need to get one of them. And this one here? Yeah, no, this one's bigger. It's twice as big, yeah. Twice as big. 
But this one isn't half the size actually because it's only the component of it. Uh, the two is shared between this one. Anyways, we need to work out the angle. So very carefully here, um, if I draw to the center, here, here, make a triangle. What is this angle? Now, that is half this total angle. And what's this angle here? And I think you know. No. Yes. Because it's an equilateral triangle. And this is 30. Because it's in the middle. Because this is... You see, you need to use a little bit of math that you might have forgotten from middle school. So when you have an equilateral triangle, the angles are 60. And if you want to find the point in the center of the triangle where you can fit a circle around the triangle, you bisect the angles. You half the angles. So these must be 30s. Yeah? So this total force here is... Um, what I'll do is I'll call this force FA and this one be FB and this one be FC. So this one here will be, um, if that's 30, this angle here is uh, 30 as well. So this one is FB cos 30. Yes? But the other one will be FC cos 30 and we just said it's the same. So in total it will just be two of them. This force here is FA. So at the end of the day, the total force will point up because the left and the right cancel. And the total force will be FA minus twice cos 30 FB. How do we calculate the F? Well, the formula is F equals QE. Do you remember? The, or the other one is E equals uh, F over Q the other formula, uh, F equals QE. So this FA will be EA, super, because that's what we had from the first part, times Q minus 2 cos 30, and FB is nearly the same as the first one. What's the only difference? It's halved. Why is it halved? 2 to 4, yes. Yeah. So in fact, you can just say EB is a half EA. So this becomes EAQ minus 2 cos 30, a half EA. And that's super, again, because the 2's... Uh, oh, I've lost my Q as well, sorry. Uh, the 2 and the half cancels. So you're left with EA minus cos 30 Q. As I just took the uh, Q out and put it at the back. And I lost an EA, didn't I? So sorry. Yeah, yeah. 1 minus cos 30 EA Q. And this is equal to the total force. The total force. Uh, yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. Can you wait one minute? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but remember, F equals QE. So th and this is total force. So that means Q times total electric field strength is 1 minus cos 30. E A Q. So I can cancel the Qs. So at long last I have my answer. The total electric field strength is 1 minus cos 30 times the electric field strength from the previous part. So if I just multiply this answer by 1 minus cos 30, uh, and we'll do divided by 10 power 7, I get 0 0.26 10 power 7. Or if I just change that 2 and 6 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. Right, now what were you saying, Mushiri? How did I get this? The force up minus the force down. Is this right? Let's find out. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 
Uh, did I draw my picture upside down? No, no, I didn't. No, well, but they used a positive charge, so the arrows will be upside down. But that shouldn't change. Oh no, it does because I should be using positive, so it should be going down. But it shouldn't change the final answer. Nine point five nine. What did I get? Yeah. Do you see? Mm. small mistake somewhere. My heart. Um, maybe it's with my picture. <sighs> Sigh. The angle is not thirty. It's sixty. Look, look, Adnan. Look. When I drew my triangle here, and I said this is thirty, and I wanted this angle here. If that's thirty, this one's not thirty. It's Thank you. So I just change that to a 60 and see if that fixes it. Um, 1 minus cos 60. And what was my first answer? It's half my first answer. Uh, and my first answer was 1.92 times 10 to the 7. Now I have the answer in the book. 9.6 mega newtons per coulomb and this is actually going down because um, I made my charge negative but I should have made it positive so I have to flip everything around you correct, correct. oh yeah no no uh, if this was me doing the exam um, I would leave this question till the end, but then at the same time, if this was me doing the exam, I would have saved so much time in question one to six. I would have spent the thirteen minutes doing it. Because no, you think about it like. Um, I think it's a good idea to, to solve all the easy ones. Easy ones first, yeah. So but for me, like if I was the student, I would have quickly done one to no, five no, easily, easy. huh? This is seven marks. Uh, you said it took me 13 minutes. Well, to do part two. I have a part one, we're going to take it one minute. So I spent five minutes more on this than I should have. However, I believe I would have gained much more than five minutes for the time I had for qu the previous questions. That's why I say that the time is a maximum because you kind of want to store up some time when you can for things like this, you know. But uh, I will tell you this, it, that is the hardest Section A field question I've ever seen. That's true. I haven't seen a field question in Section A as hard as that before. Section B. Uh, section B. Yeah, it'd be more like a Section B question, actually. That Section A wouldn't be more like a Section B one. Okay, now, number seven is actually a very easy transformer question. That's it, it's very straightforward and you have four minutes. Put this in.
And you know what the funny thing is with that angle? I made the same mistake last year, I remember. I used, I used 30 instead of 60. Yeah, you could use that one. You flip the eyes around for the end. Yeah, and that, but that's what I would use. But both work fine. Yeah, but I think your one is a little quicker. Yeah. Mine. Oh no, maybe not because you don't know the current in the primary. Oh wait, do you know the current? I won't. I can. Oh, wait, that's the. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, V1 is 125. 125 times A, uh, no. When the second is A times 2. Adnan! Oh, I'm a bit concerned like because a lot of the time in my classes when we're doing revision, uh, you're on your phone. And now Adnan, 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 please, I've seen you use your phone, I just haven't said anything yet because about politeness, but now I'm saying something, so uh, try to tone it down a little bit because I would feel better if you were focusing on this. Yeah. Um, have you got this one finished? Yes. No, okay. I know you still have two minutes left, but I was kind of hoping that you'd get it done with time to spare because. Yeah, I yeah. Finished? Yes. Super. So you would have had two minutes extra now from this question. Right, what information do you know here? Uh, you know V1 and V2? Yes. Okay, which is which now? V1 is... One to five. What is it? One, two, five. And V2? Two, and uh, which of the ends do you know? Uh, secondary. And they probably want the and primary, one. is it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, uh, V1 over V2 equals N1 over N2. So, super easy. Uh, 216 times 125 over 24. 1125? Yes. How many marks was that one? Two. And it only would take 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. No, this should not take two minutes, what I just did. Uh, and then part two is, what's the primary current when the secondary circuit is on an 8 ohm resistor. Right, so the power in equals the power out. So that means I1V1 equals I2V2. Now, we, which, of the, which things do we know here? Or which things do we want, I should say? We're looking for I1. I1. Okay, so a circle I1. Do we know V1? Yes. Yeah. Do we know V2? Yes. But do we know I2? Mm. No. Well, we could know it. Yeah. We can say I is... No, we can do V squared over R. That's what I'm getting yeah, get to. So I is V over R. Yeah. So this is V2 over R2 uh, times V2, which is V2 squared over the R. So that means I1, finally, we can say is V2 squared over V1 or 
So I just divide that underneath. So uh, what is V2 here? 24. 24 times 24 divided by 125 divided by 8. And you get 0.576 amps. A little, but not not unreasonably bad, I don't think. Uh, is there an atoms question? No, oh, no atoms question. Okay, uh, number eight, uh, five minutes. Yeah, you might need a little, <laughs> a little bit more vocabulary from physics in it. When two waves yeah. combine to form a bigger wave, one wave. Yeah, but it's the word bigger I don't like. We need to be more precise than bigger. How is it bigger? What more amplitude? There we go. Greater amplitude. Yeah. Bigger is not clear because maybe bigger means more frequency, more wavelengths. You know, this is the problem. Sounds more academic, it's nicer. And safe way, safe way. Yeah. Right, very good. Uh, so that's the two marks definitions, no problem. So now on to the actual calculation. And um, I don't think there's anything too unusual here. The formula, I don't remember if this one's in the book. It's the, well, I won't tell you actually, because I'll let you try first. Yeah. Is it okay, Chris? Yeah, and equal to mm -hmm. Mayor likes to keep me guessing if he's in or not, so... Since he came in on Wednesday at lunchtime, has anyone seen him since then? No. One minute. Two minutes? Okay. the red hair in Eyad? Yeah, which number? Four. The four? Yeah. No, this is not the red hair. So there is a red hair? Well, there is a piece of information in the question that is not necessary to calculate the answer. Not a red hair in per se, because you could use that piece of information to get the answer a different way. So in fact, what they've done is they've given you enough information so that you could use one of two different formulas to get the answer. So I can use the regular formula. So I get the, the, the M4 formula. Like I can get the distance S from only a string S1.1. 
yeah, you could, yeah, you could get the, you could get the, the fringe pattern separation, but you still need to multiply it by four because you're looking at the fourth one. So you still need to know. Yeah, but there is another way to do it. So let's have a look at it. I believe you all forgot this formula. N lambda equals d sine I theta. Like That's what I said at the very beginning. Is this formula in the formula book? And you said yes. Is it? No, I didn't That's think it was. Anymore. Did you? Or are you just thinking about your notebook? Maybe this one. The other one is. Anyway, okay. no matter. This is the in one the I... Formula book on the the formula book is printed on the exam, as you can see. So it's like two different formula books. But then one has something. No, no, no. The good thing is, um, the formula book is printed on the exam, the most recent one. And formulas are never subtracted from the book, only added. Okay. So you'll never be in a situation where you have a formula book with less formulas in it. Okay. So if, if you have a formula that is in one of the books you saw, then it will be in your one. Anyway, what are we looking for in this question? The theta, is it? Is that what they wanted? No. They want S, S, P. Oh, okay. So actually, I could use this formula. Um, but I think actually, no, it, the way you were doing this probably easier. It won't so, give me also the S, just multiply by 4. And multiply the S by 4 in the end. Yeah, so what formula are you using there, guys? Uh, lambda equals. Lambda equals. S, 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 that over that, yes? Now, we are looking for this one, yeah. So that's this. What is the distance to the screen? Mishareef? 1.250. Thank you. <laughs> what is the uh, next part is um, the... Uh, slit separation should be in millimeters. Yeah. 1.125 times 10 to the minus 3. Yeah. And then finally. Oh, point 0.125. And then finally, can you give me the uh, lambda is 628.3? Nano. Nano. Yeah. Yes, so add that to your list. And as you said, Iyad, we have to multiply our answer by four. four. So uh, two and a half centimeters. Two and a half centimeters is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, next time, um, do you want to do another section A, or will we just... Oh, no. I, I, no, we're doing this next time. B, yeah. So we're going to continue next time. Um, now, before you go, I just want you to tell me... All you need to do is tell me what lesson uh, this one from three fourths theorem. You can do it as a three fourths theorem, but it's longer. But it's longer. <laughs> Did you get the right answer? Yeah, I checked it. Good. And in the marking schemes, they use the three fourths theorem? No, they, they, they never do. They never do.